example, for what values of x does a series, this is a power series, uh, summing from 1 to infinity, x minus 3 to the n power over n converge? Okay, this is a very common topic in either a second or third semester of calculus. So what I want to do is get a visual, kind of seeing what that radius of convergence looks like in the graph. And the way I'm going to do that, first of all, we're going to define a power series function, and then I want k going from 1 to n. All right, now that I have this function defined, if I plug in something like x2 into this function, I'm getting the second partial sum of my infinite series. And what we're trying to figure out is if I plug in certain values of x and let n go to infinity, do I get something finite or not? That's not always clear, but what I can do here is plot these things and maybe get kind of a visual of what's going on for different values of x's. So if I let x go from 1 to 5, for example, with power x2, so that would be the second partial sum, I get this nice quadratic. And so notice if I go out towards infinity, x goes out to infinity, this thing go, blows up. But what happens for all the different values of n? And that's kind of confusing to think about. What I want to do here is I'm going to make a table of my power functions. For example, if I go, if I let k go from 1 to 10, there I have the first 10 partial sums, which is kind of confusing. That's not really what I want to do. What I want to do is really plot these things. So I'm going to plot all 10 of these power functions and I'm going to go from 1.5 to 4.5. Let's see what kind of we get. Oh, look. So we get all these different functions. And now I want some color in it. So the way you put the color in it when you're plotting a table is you put evaluate around your table. And so now I have these colors. And you can see that um, as I get deeper into this, these partial sums, so I'm, uh, here's the first through 10 of these partial sums of this power series. They all look kind of tame in this region right here in the middle. Does that always work? So I'm going to put a manipulate around this. And what I want to manipulate now is the number of graphs I'm considering. So that would be all the different partial sums starting with 1. Let's go out to 50. And I want integer steps. So I put in another 1 here. That will let my manipulate go by 1 unit steps. So when I calculate this, I start off with just a linear function because that's the first partial sum of my power series. right? That's, that's px1, which is x minus 3. Okay, so as I go, there's my, there are my first two, first three and four and five and so on, and I'm doing 50 of these things, so as I drag it, we can see what's going on, right? So if I'm below 2, if I pick an x value below 2, as I get further into these partial sums, this thing just blows up in both in either direction, depending on which partial sum you have. If I get out close to 4, it looks like they're blowing up as well, but in between, they're actually very tame. Okay, and this is just a good visual of the radius of convergence of a power series. So if you're going to work out the mathematics behind this particular series, we would use the ratio test. We get a radius of convergence of 1. We're centered at 3, so that means we'd go 3 minus 1 down to 2. We'd go 3 plus 1 up to 4. And then we have to test exactly at 2 and 4 to see if it would work. In particular, if you plug in x equals 2 into this, you get the alternating harmonic series, which converges. If I get, if I plug in 4 and let n go to infinity, I get the harmonic series, which diverges. So actually it converges exactly at 2, does not converge exactly at 4, but anywhere in between, I've got, got something nice. And I think this is not a solution to this question, but I think this is a great tool to visualize what's going on with power series, and we can actually see the radius of convergence in live action. I hope this makes sense. As always, Mathematica is a useful tool, very powerful for this kind of visualization. If you have any questions, I'd be glad to help. And thanks for watching.